What do you need in order to implement your process? You just need a simple plan. A plan composed of three kinds of elements. If you want to start a story, any story, you'll need these three elements. You'll need organizations, environment, and storylines. The number indicated here are a baseline. You will need a minimum of six organization and environment and a minimum of 12 stories. This number may highly vary depending on the genre you're using or the story length. If you're making a story, uh, a series or a saga, for example, you will need more than six environments and you may need more than six organizations. It's not necessary. All depends on the scale. All depends on the kind of diversity you're looking for. And you may, you will want to diversify your work. That's why you need plans. Diversity will offer you one essential feature, immersion. The more diverse your world is, the more cohesive it may feel and the more immersion you may then create. It's why you want to experiment. You want to try a diversity of genre, a diversity of character, a diversity of environment, of stories and of organizations. Short story in this manner will be particularly useful. Trying to write a five pages story every every month or every week will allow you to test this kind of organization, these different kind of characters, these different kind of settings. Trying to write a poem or a song every week by limiting yourself by four to one page for a, for a poem or a song will also allow you to develop this uh, this different sense of of emotional implication. As your stories are so short, it may also motivate you more if you're if you have a difficulty to write at the moment. And you'll be able to publish them sooner and therefore reach the public faster, allowing you to receive feedback faster as well. The, the questions when it comes to organization, environment, characters and story are always the same. What makes them more memorable? What would you see more of? What would you see less of? And what makes the cohesion of the world appear more hot? If you can, ask for the public or anyone really who gives you the feedback to try to look for one specific emotion which is prevalent on all the others and we'll consider it as an emotion here. It's boredom. If an organization, if an environment, if a character, if a scene, even a scene, produces boredom, produces disinterest, or on the contrary, produces enthusiasm and enticement, it will have to appear more or less. If a scene is boring, try to understand why it's boring. Ask for the person for a correction. How would they create or recreate the same, the same scene? But what would make them more enthusiastic when they look at this new scene? 